Hello, students of chemistry. This is the only gas law calculation that you're going to have to be able to do for the chemistry regents exam using the combined gas law. So let's get started. All right, so I took the three most recent regents exams from the recording of this video. And I'm starting with the most recent, which was January 2019. And let's take a look at the question. So we have a cylinder here. It's got a movable piston, sample of hydrogen gas. So 330K, 330 K Kelvin, of course, is temperature. Has a pressure of 150 kilopascals. Okay, PA. And a volume of 3.5 liters and you're asked to figure out the volume at STP okay so you got temperature you got pressure you got volume you're given temperature and pressure with the letters STP which I'll show you and you're gonna solve for V so first thing if you forget, and I'd suggest you look it up, standard temperature and pressure are right on reference table A. So, when it comes to pressure and volume with the combined gas law, they must be consistent on both sides of the equal sign. Meaning, whatever... Meaning, whatever unit you start with for pressure you end with whatever unit you start with with volume you end with temperature however no matter what if you're given Celsius it has to be in Kelvin so let's go back and take a look so for this question first thing I always recommend even with multiple choice to write down the equation so I have my pressure of 150 kPa my volume three and a half liters over 330 K which is the temperature on the other side standard pressure in kPa is 101.3 again look it up volume is what we're solving for temperature in Kelvin is 273 so now we only have to solve for V which means you have to get it alone of course you can cross multiply and divide that's a short way of saying let's do the algebra to get V alone and plug it into the calculator. So it might be helpful to circle what you're actually going to go ahead and multiply. We have 150 times 3.5 times 273, which equals 143. 325 that's equal to 330 times 101.3 which is 33429 V but remember it's cross multiplying and dividing well you gotta get V alone so you're gonna go ahead and divide both sides by 33429 and when we go ahead and do that, 143, 325, divided by 33429, we get 4.287, etc., which of course rounds to 4.29 liters. And sure enough, here it is, choice three. Take your time, write out the numbers, don't skip steps, and you won't make mistakes. Let's go to the August. All right, let me get rid of all of this writing. And you should be working on this maybe first and then come back and try it for yourself. Now remember, on the Regents exam, you're going to have all these different questions. So start reading the question and figure out, oh, wait a minute, I have a gas law problem. Well, how do I know that? Well, let's take a look together. First of all, you're told you have a sample of a gas, so that's kind of a dead giveaway in a cylinder with a movable piston we have a volume of 11.2 and that's liters and we're starting in STP 
So that means our temperature, if you forgot, remember go to reference table A, 273 Kelvin. And our pressure, well, I'm going to look ahead since we're going to get kilopascals for our final conditions. Let's use 101.3 kPa to start for our standard pressure instead of atmospheres. And now we're asked to solve for volume with these parameters. Okay, so let's set it up. Don't forget, write the equation down so you make sure you're plugging everything in. This question is very similar to the one right before. I'm starting with 101.3 kPa and a volume of 11.2, and that's over 273. On the other side, I'm looking for volume. My pressure is 202.6. I have my V and it's 300 K. Okay, once again I gotta get V alone so I could combine terms and then divide or I can once again cross multiply and divide. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I pause the video and I did my multiplication. I get 340368 is equal to 5531 0 V. Then of course I have to divide both sides by 55310. Cancel here and I get an answer that V is equal to 6.15 liters which is choice 2. So be very thorough. Take your time. You can always double check your calculations also. Let's take a look at the final question here the only gas law calculation, the only equation you're going to use, the combined gas law. Okay, so once again, let us erase the ink and check out 2016 as my iPad falls. Okay, I have a cylinder with a movable piston. I got 16 grams of O2. It says a 298 and a half ATM. The O2 has a volume of 24.5 liters. Show a numerical setup for calculating the volume of O2 in the cylinder at 265 and 1 ETM. Okay, so a numerical setup. This is a short answer type question. This is going to show up on parts B2 or part C. But we're still talking gas law, and we're going to still talk combined gas law. So, the equation, remember, PV over T is equal to PV over T. My starting pressure was given as 0.5 ATM. Sorry for the barking. That's just Ringo in his big mouth. Hold on just in case it wasn't all that exciting at least there's a dog barking right all right so the volume is 24.5 liters just following the words here okay below it I'm told it's also at 298 Kelvin so 298 Kelvin all right then we want to calculate the new volume, so that's on the other side, that's V. We have a pressure of 1 ATM and 265K. So of course I just tried to put the dogs out so they don't bark, and now they're scratching at the door. So when you're asked to show a numerical setup, it did not say anything about units. So putting 0.5 times... 24.5 over 298 is equal to 1, right, because it's 1 ATM, times V over 265. That's your numerical setup. So you don't need the units when it says numerical setup. And even though they told us it was oxygen and they gave us the mass, we didn't need it here. So once again, what is the only gas law equation that you're going to use? Combined gas law. 
Okay, so I hope you liked the video. I hope we're crushing it with chemistry. If you are a student in my class and you watch this video prior to the gas law test, if you can explain on the test how we are able to crush the can in chemistry using pressure, I'll give you some bonus points. Keep watching, keep working hard. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to sign up for my channel for more YouTube videos on getting yourself ready for that Regents exam. And good luck.